What's going on everybody? This is Steven Wimberly from Working With Wimberly and this is going to be the first episode of a series I'm going to call Automotive Stories. So this is just anytime something happens uh, that I think is interesting or that I think is worth sharing, I'm going to do it with this series. And I'm going to start off with a co-worker of my wife. She drives a late model Ford Explorer and she hit a curb pretty bad and damaged the two wheels on her uh, driver's side of the vehicle. So she gets it towed to a shop and they replace several parts. They replace the front struts, uh, outer tie rod in on the driver's side. They do both rear upper control arms. Um, they did sway bar end links and everything that they did looked pretty good. Um, but she wasn't sure if they had did all the repairs correctly because she kept having noise from the strut mount of the driver's side strut. The guy had actually warrantied out the struts four times and he was installing it for the fifth time. So I just went to look and inspect the work. She's going to end up taking it to Ford to get it inspected to see if maybe the frame is bent or maybe the strut tower is bent. Not sure how bad she hit the curb, but it did damage a lot of components. So everything's going well. Uh, you know, she doesn't know much about cars, so she asked me to meet her up there and to just look at it with the paperwork. So I go, and everything's cool. The conversation is going well. The guy is nice. Put the truck up on the lift, and I'm looking at the parts, and it's like, cool, cool, everything is fine. Well, then I look at the, the upper control arms on the rear, and there was some corrosion on them. So I wasn't 100% sure that they were new. I just felt like if you installed them recently, there shouldn't be corrosion on it. Now, it was just a little bit of surface rust and the bushings did look new. So in the end, I, I do believe that they did replace them. But when I initially looked at them, I had my flashlight up and I said, these don't look new. And immediately the whole mood, everything changed. The mechanic, he, he got uh, defensive, he got angry and he goes, what do you mean? what do you mean it's not new and I said what do you I'm speaking English I said it doesn't look new so maybe that was my fault maybe I shouldn't have said that but you know I just said it didn't look new so he gets all upset no oh, it's new it's new you don't you know what what are you talking about and you know I, I was like okay you know what fine I actually told him I said relax like don't don't get mad it, like it's okay I'm not mad and um, I wanted to just move on. So he gets upset and he just starts, you know, what do you mean? Yes, it's new. Clearly it's new. And then he starts uh, talking about me personally, like, what kind of automotive tech are you? You can't look at that and know that that's new. And then I stopped and said, wait, what's happening here? Like, why are you talking about me? First off, you don't know if I'm an automotive tech or not. I haven't told you anything about me. We need to completely stop this conversation about me and talk about the car because that's why we're here. So now I'm yelling at the guy and all the other uh, mechanics in the shop are like around the truck and they're just standing there looking. And, you know, I didn't plan for it to happen that way. We eventually were able to kind of de-escalate and, and, you know, tempers come down, but I didn't understand just because I said a part doesn't look new, you all of a sudden get so angry and now you want to talk about I'm, I'm not a good tech and I don't know what I'm looking at. And I immediately, I shut it down. I told him, we are not going to talk about me. We're not here to talk about me. We're here to talk about this car. And I could have went down a list of things I've done say, hey, I've done struts and upper control arms and lower control arms and outer tie ride ends. And, I've done every single part that they put on that car. I've already done that, but I didn't feel that I needed to explain that to this guy. You understand what I'm saying? I simply just stated that it didn't look new. And ultimately I came to the conclusion that it was once I inspected the bushings on it. I feel bad about stuff like this. You know, people ask me frequently to work on their cars and most times I don't, I'll be honest. Most of the cars that you see on the channel are my personal cars. Uh, family members or very close friends. I don't just work on a bunch of random people cars, but this goes back to why working with Wembley exists in the first place. You know, if you have a couple of tools and, and you, you're somewhat handy, if you can do some of these simple repairs yourself, you know exactly what part was used, you know, you know how it went on and that it was installed correctly. And it just saves you the headache because once you take these cars to these shops, you have no idea uh, what they've done, if they've done it right, and if they even replaced the parts.
that they said they replaced. And it's tough because I know there are a lot of good shops out there. There are a lot of good mechanics, but it's just one of those things where, you know, a few bad apples could really just make people cautious and hesitant to check their cars in for work. And I'm one of those people. So I pretty much do everything myself. The only thing, and it's been years from the, the, the Corvette to the Escalade, everything that I've worked on of my, my personal vehicles have only been to a shop for a wheel alignment. That's it. I've done everything else myself. And I know that that's not possible for everybody. And I do. It, it's tough. You want to go with a reputable shop that people have had a good experience with that people can vouch for. And also, you know, there's always the dealership, a.k.a. the dealership. We already know how that goes. They're going to charge you a premium. But I do think there is some sense of comfort from taking the car to a dealership. But this is just another random story. And it's not the first time I've gone through something like this. But I'll if I have another story, I'll tell it. But just how things went left. And this guy got so angry. This guy wanted to insult me and talk about my, my lack of skill as an automotive tech. I never told him I was an automotive tech. He actually knows nothing about me. Um, it's just one of those things that unfortunately you might have to deal with when you go, when you question somebody's work, they get defensive, they get angry. And um, it's just just not a good situation. Ultimately, we, we were fine and I finished inspecting the car and everything was good. Like I said, she's still going to end up taking it to the dealership. And I will say one last thing. After we were we were done with the car, um, I was talking to her, uh, the, the owner of the car. And the guy, he's like, huh? And I was like, I'm, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to her. And then he, you know, he, you know, tries to start small talk. Do, do you live around him? Like, no, we're, we're, uh, we are no longer talking about me. We are only talking about this car. And to be honest, I guess I should have had that attitude when I first went there. So this is episode one. There'll be more in the future as things happen. But again, if you are able, uh, do the work yourself. Save yourself the headache. And if not, just make sure that you have a trusted, reputable shop or maybe even a dealership. If you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and leave a comment. God bless you all.